everybody, Dr. Greg here. So uh, if you've been living under a rock or something, you might not know that uh, Netflix has released uh, Edge Runners, which is Cyberpunk 2077's tie-in anime uh, from Trigger Studio. I uh, say people that did Kill a Kill, and they, they did another one I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Kill a Kill is fun. I enjoyed it. It's a little weird. But uh, I gotta say, Cyberpunk Edge Runners is one of the most badass anime I've ever seen. Uh, I, I've watched it five times now, so I'm, and that's you know pretty much my whole Twitter thread is just me uh, spamming Cyberpunk uh, Edge Runners fan art because there's so much good fan art out there right now. Uh, Team Lucy, yeah. So anyway, uh, another great thing that's gone on because of this is it's caused a massive resurgence in people playing Cyberpunk 2077. For those of us that have been defending this game since launch, it is so awesome to see so much enthusiasm for the game. It's had like over a million players now a day since launch of the anime. Uh, it just beat yesterday or today, it just beat the all time peak concurrent players of Witcher 3 with like 104,825 concurrent players or something like that which is just absolutely incredible and people are coming back and they're still playing it it's been going on now for a couple weeks so uh and it just keeps growing so it's really really great to see because honestly guys uh the launch sucked just because of the way it was pushed out by the corpos and all of that but the, the developers deserve all the time and attention you can give to this game because it is absolutely gorgeous and that's what we're that's where this video is about because i've got a little over or close to 300 hours if not over 300 hours in the game now and uh, uh i've done it all in vr with luke ross's vr mod uh and my goal here is to help everybody out show them the best settings that they can use uh, to get this mod to work the best so you get the best VR experience because I've got to tell you Night City in VR is a sight to behold and really in my opinion is the absolute best way to play the game uh, I played it on my PS5 as well and uh, I, I like it a lot better in VR it just it brings you into that world it is just it's just absolutely incredible um, so we're gonna go over our best settings that you can use. I have an i9 10900K uh, with uh, RTX 2080 Super and 32 gigs RAM. So my PC is, is sort of beefy. Uh, and I'll go over the settings that you can use to adjust uh, if your computer isn't quite up to those specs. The things that can help you get the absolute best frame rates that you can get, because that's really important. Uh, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that as well. And uh, uh, then we'll go over a couple mods and stuff to actually use to help enhance the experience and make the game even better. There's some really good videos out there on great mods that you can install in Cyberpunk, which is also great to see the modding community really start to step up. Well, they've been doing it forever, but now things are getting insane. So there we go, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get started and so we can get you playing Cyberpunk 2077 in VR. The first thing that you guys want to do, of course, is you want to head on over to Steam and get yourself a copy of Cyberpunk. And guess what? Right now it is on sale. I think it's on sale till tomorrow. Half off, $29.99. That is a freaking steal. Go buy the game. Uh, it goes till, uh, well, it, like I said, it ends tomorrow. So uh, the 25th is the last day. Uh, you have 24 hours, it looks like, to, to do this. So do it. Uh, it uh, look at this too, I love this. Uh, mostly positive now in the in the reviews 422,000 positive reviews that is such a great thing to see as bad as this game got started and here you see it's um the, the edge runner update which just released oh god i love that show so much okay so anyway that's the first thing you need to do is you need to go over and you need to get yourself cyberpunk uh from from steam well i think it's on sale and other things gog and stuff like that but you know i use steam so use whatever you'd like all right and the next thing you need to do is head on over to Luke Ross's Patreon. I'll put a link in the description, but it's right it's right there. Uh, <laughs> and you can uh, head on down here and you can uh, download his mod right, right here. That's all you need to do, 8.0.1. This mod will work with, the, with Cyberpunk. It'll work with all the games that are listed in his Patreon. So you only need one mod for that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it, it is a Patreon, you know, if you only, but it's $10. So $10 for a mod that runs not only Cyberpunk, but uh, he just added in um, uh, Ghost Runner 
and uh, the the cat game. I can't remember what the cat game is. Stray is that what it's called? Yeah, uh, and, and all kinds of other games. There's tons of games on here. Uh, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo has just been added. Uh, Final Fantasy VII remake, which works absolutely incredible with VR. Uh, just tons of them. So give Luke Ross some love. This guy has done some absolutely amazing work for us. Uh, even though he got screwed over by by Take Two, uh, we still love him, and he's still doing great things for us. So yeah, head over to Patreon, get yourself a copy of the mod. All right, now we're gonna go over how to install the mod. So now we're gonna now that you've opened up the mod or the extraction file here, whatever you're using to extract, you just go to wherever your game is located. For me, it's Program Files times 86. You go to Steam. You go down to Steam Apps. You go to Common, and there it is, Cyberpunk. Now, once you're in the Cyberpunk, you don't put it in this file. You go to Bin, and then you put it in the X64 file, because that's where that's where the uh, EXE is that you need for Cyberpunk. And so you just go ahead and hit Extract. I've already done that, and uh, uh, that's how you get there. All right, now what you do is you go ahead and you go into the X64 file to get the mod to work, and all you have to do is run down here, and you're going to have this file right here called Real Config. So you just go ahead and you click on that. It'll, for me, it always asks if I want to do this. Uh, and then it'll ask you, you'll know, have some things that you can do here to click. Since I've already done it, I'm just going to leave it. And it's going to hit keep for me. But you just hit that. It'll run it. And then you hit any key. And there you go. You are ready to go. Now the mod is going to launch, uh, or the game will launch in VR. So now we're in the game. <clears throat> and we're going to go over some settings, what you need to do. So first thing you do, of course, is head over to your settings. Now, this is where they come in. It should be, okay. The, the resolution that we have down here, this is where uh, Luke Ross sets it uh, by default. I find with my system, this is a little bit, the, the 2432 by 2432 is just a little bit too taxing. Uh, you always want it to be in this resolution, though, like so it's like the same uh, going up and down, vertical and, and, and horizontal. Uh, so what I all I ever do for my system is I just take it back to this one. This one works really, really well for me. Uh, I did I did a test when the game first started. Uh, I think we were down to here. It also worked great. I mean, super super smooth, but the graphics just don't look quite as good. And since DLSS works on this game so well, it might have actually even been, it might have even been this one. But this is something that if you're having a problem with frame rates, uh, this is where, this is a big place to really make a difference is your resolution. Like I said, for me, this works really good. Luke Ross's mod uses something called alternate eye rendering to, to render the, the 3D in VR. Um, because of that, um, so let's say that you have you're getting let's say you're getting 80 frames for me with this i can get about 80 frames per second uh, anywhere from 70 to 80 is what i get while i'm playing unfortunately though with alternate eye rendering that means it basically halves what you're getting in headset so i'm actually only getting around 40 frames per second in the headset and what that does and what you'll notice you eventually learn to to look past it and you don't really even see it but you'll see these ghosting and like fuzzy artifacts around characters and 3D models the closer they are to you. Um, when we can get cards like the 4090, which is coming out, and I'm really excited for, we're going to be able to bump those frame rates up to around 90 frames per second in headset, and all that stuff it'll all that stuff will disappear. It'll look native. So I'm really excited about that. But for right now, this is what we have, uh, and, and once again. The slight graphical downgrade that you get compared to flat is so worth it in VR. It's just absolutely incredible. So this is the first setting that you want to hit, is that this one, take it down to uh, 2160 over 2160 is what I like. If you have a higher end PC that can run like a, you know, a 3090 Ti or whatever it is, you could probably handle those frame rates just fine. My PC does not. So then we go into our graphics. Uh, and what I think Luke has it set yeah, he has it set on low down here. So what I like to do is go ahead and take my graphical settings. And what I take the settings to is I take them to medium. I like to take the texture quality to high. Uh, and then we go down into this other stuff here. Uh, DLSS, this is the next one that you wanna hit. 
Uh, I don't do really anything with the sharpening. You can if you want. Uh, I'd like to take this to quality, my DLSS. Some people go to balance. Um, it's working really good on quality with mine, so that's where I leave it. Uh, that that really smooths out any bumpiness that you have in your frame rate, so it's really super nice. It also has a FX, FSX now if you have an AMD card, so that's cool. And there's a mod that you can get that has a FSX uh, uh, or FSR uh, 2.0. Uh, actually, I think it's even 2.1 now that you could put on if you if you're not liking the DLSS. Um, leave all of this stuff the same. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, and then as you see, it moves all of the, all of these settings, mostly to medium. The only settings I change here is I like the mirror quality. I mean, it's not like you're never looking in a mirror all that much. So I always move that to high and I always move my level of detail to high. Uh, and other than that, that's it. That's all we do on the settings. And this is going to give you a really super smooth, um, experience, uh, at least with the type of computer that I have. Um, as you can see here, we'll just go ahead and resume. This is how we just go. Oh, you see what it's doing there when I move? I forgot to do something because I changed things. It's got uh, motion blur on, which is not fun in VR. It doesn't work crap. So uh, all you have to do there, go into the settings, where is motion blur? I can't believe it, that's left on at all. There we go, we take it off. That should just be hard off as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> now the motion blur is off. There you go. Now I move my head around. This got done uh, doing the whole thing where we came out with Johnny and we we put his name down here. This is where Johnny's buried. <laughs> but as you can see, things are running really smooth. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it's just gorgeous. What the heck is this? There's something up there that I missed at some point? Is that like one of those graffiti things? It is. Hey, kill two birds with one stone. There we go, we got it. Um, I'm gonna save after that. Rogue just contacted me, I have to remember remember to do that. So, okay, there we go. Here are the mods that I, the, these are just basic mods. There's nothing really sexy in here. There's plenty of them that you can get that, that uh, can really change things up, like flying cars and all that kind of stuff. I haven't installed any of those yet. I will for my next playthrough, but these are just some basic mods that really help improve the experience that you have in the game. Uh, the first things you need to do is is download Red Script. Pretty much all of these you can u just use with Vortex. Um, uh, so you download Red Script and you download Cyber Engine Tweaks. These are th just mods that you need that your other mods build on. And uh, another one is the Native Settings UI. So these three mods you have to download before you do any of the other ones. Uh, like I said, I just use Vortex on them and they work great. Um, this one is great. It's an ultra enhanced reshade. It just makes the game look so pretty. Uh, it, it gets rid of a lot of the washed out colors. It really makes those colors pop. And uh, so I absolutely love this one. And this one is very performance friendly. I haven't noticed any difference in performance really using this mod. Uh, and you just do it with reshade. Just follow the instructions. They give them all right down here on, on how to do it, your installation guide. So it's very simple. Uh, so yeah, and then you'll, you'll do something actually in the overlay in the game where uh, you have to, for me, I have to hold down X and then you can go in and you can use the reshade and you can change it to the ultra enhanced reshade in Lucross's mod itself and its overlay. So that's one that's really nice. Uh, enhanced police is great. I kind of love, uh, I don't know if you guys, have, this is really not much of a spoiler, it's just kind of a self own but in Edge Runners, one of the characters main at one time, they're fighting the police and he's like, Wait, what, where are all these police coming from? They're just appearing out of thin air and it's endless. And I really think that was kind of just like a self-own for the game because the police system has always been kind of stupid in Cyberpunk. What this will do is it'll, it'll, you know, people actually call for help to bring the police in if you're causing problems with the crowd. The cops actually chase you. I have a short on my channel actually that shows the cops all show up after I kill one cop and they all show up in cars they are chasing me and shooting me and like running over pedestrians trying to get me. It's just awesome. So this is a great mod to add in there. Uh, the next mod I like to use, I, I talked about a little bit in the video part of it, is, is a immersive first person. So you actually look down and you can see your body and that's nice. Uh, it just, it just adds more to the game. It's more immersive. 
This is another great mod. Once again, just Vortex. Ragdoll Physics Overhaul. You'll notice a lot of times when characters die, they'll have that weird leg that kind of sticks out to the side or up in the air uh, in the vanilla game. And this just makes them fall and die more naturally. So uh, it's a nice little mod to add on there. Uh, more blood splatters. More blood is always good. I also have more gore on there. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, it just, But yeah, very great. It just adds more blood to the game, just like it says. And, you know, more blood is always better as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and, uh, yep, there's the more gore. We have that on too. And uh, then, of course, this one right here. Now, this one you don't use Vortex with. You just download. I do not disable the TAA. It'll look like total dog shit in VR if you do that. What it ends up doing is it just makes everything look really super jagged around the edges. But getting rid of the bloom is awesome. And with this one, all you have to do is you just extract the file, and then it gives you the pathway to take the file and you place it in, and it tells you how to get rid of the bloom. Uh, and it, it makes a big difference. It's just not so hazy and, and blindy. I mean, it might look fine on flat, but in VR, the bloom is just kind of overpowering. So there you go, guys. Those are those are the basic mods that I use. So it's not, it's not like I said, this doesn't have a big extensive mod list. I recommend uh, Juicehead. He has great videos on modding. Uh, and I also just found one. Okay, right here. Go to, to this guy right here. Uh, uh, I don't know how, I have no idea how to say that. Uh, but this is the video I watched today, and it's got some really good mods in it, including, we'll put a link to the description if I remember, uh, but including it had a, uh, a mod. She, I bet you he has a list on here right here. Oh, there's the lighting overhaul mod that I was talking about. This one you might like better than the, it's the E3 1990 or 2019 lighting overhaul. Uh, you might like that better than the, um, the, the, I'm going to actually have to try it, but better than the reshade. But this one right here is a new game plus mod. And I know we've all dealing, I definitely want to try that out because, you know, you build all of this time, like hundred over a hundred hours of building up this character. And you kind of want to start the new game with all of your stuff. And this will let you do that. You do have to redo your character, like rebuild your character as far as how they look and everything. But that allows you to do things like go through it with a different gender and all that kind of stuff. So that's cool. But anyway, uh, there we go, guys. That's what that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I really hope that you, uh, you know, enjoy and experience all of the greatness that this game has in VR. Uh, and if you have any questions, you, Dr. Greg VR on Twitter, it's real easy to find me. Just DM me. I would love, or, you know, you can put a question in the comments here and, uh, and we could talk a little bit about it, try to get you going and, you know, moving as great as you can so you can really enjoy Cyberpunk and VR, which in my opinion is just the only way to experience the game. <laughs> so, uh, hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and click that little bell thingy and all that fun stuff. Comment on the video. Tell me what you think. Ta ask me questions about VR. Uh, just talk about Cyberpunk because it's fucking awesome. It's my favorite thing in the world. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Dr. Greg. Out.